not happy about being knocked <laughs> out so early in the no. semis. And as I say, that's mm. kind of dated that footage now, having done it early in the week. Mm. Um, but um, that's rugby mm. for you. Yeah, it is rugby. Yeah, John, bringing it back to the... the old no, so fuck, could I just... No, 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 let's just focus actually, on what's happening here. here. Okay. But I don't want to say... No, 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 I just want to interrupt you. And while you interrupted John, you came back to Len, then I came in about Argentina. Sorry, John, if I could just bring back to you, my... Uncle, he also made a lot of money in business. Right, yeah. Um, remarkably, he made his first million by importing and exporting a, le a leather lounge suite around the world to himself, back and forth, trading it. And um, he made um, over a million dollars just by doing that, simply just, you know, taking advantage of the small changes and, and um, things like that. That is incredible. That's well, cool. I mean, that just shows the ingenuity and, and the kind of stock that we're from, people that can... Well, that's it. That's, yeah. You could do it in those days. Yeah, Clipping, I mean, the right. ticket, Clipping the ticket, Clipping the ticket. Clipping mm -hmm. the ticket, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. So uh, then what did he do? Well, then he had it scotch guarded and did it for another seven years. You're yes. joking. And, and continued that. Yeah. And um, obviously in 1967, you remember this, <coughs> they introduced the leather lounge suite and futon footstool tax and mm. pretty much put an end on um, that for him. Yeah. But um, would you, you reintroduce that? Do you think you'd, you'd allow that kind of free market? Yeah, look, I think that's sort of the kind of thing that we like. Sorry, John. Sorry, mm. sorry, Jace, but can I take it back to the success of this mm. show? Mm. Um, someone said to me last week that they likened the show to a submarine. Mm. I don't know what your thoughts on that are, Lee. Mm. Mm. This show, rather than being redundant since the, the loss and mm. uh, no chance going through the semis, mm. amazingly our show has been incredibly unaffected by this. Mm. Rather I look toward the other shows, your TV3s, etc. I mean, we've made no secret of the fact that we've had no all-black footage from day one. Right. What are they going to do now? They've got no all-black footage yeah. either. Mm. Or current stuff at least. Yeah. So, I mean, we're on an even playing field now yeah. and, and I would suspect looking at this graph here if we could um yeah there you see your likes of your, your main broadcaster your rights holders they're going right back across the x-axis i've never yeah. seen that before in a graph yeah, yeah. normally they, they'd go below the threshold there looping back on itself that's never never happened before in my experience you'll see there too that murray television we're remarkably consistent john yeah that's a good a very good point mm -hmm. um but uh, surely you've got to play of the week this week no fair enough probably wasn't probably wasn't one from that I think, uh, Lee, if I, if, I, if I may, I think it could be a very good time to uh, step into the Tamara Kebab sporting moment. It's become known as the Great Flood of 75. Thanks to torrential rain the night before, Eden Park has become flooded, making conditions difficult and dangerous for both teams. In a brilliant display of wet weather rugby, New Zealand are eventual winners, winning 24-0. This has been another Tamara Kebab classic rugby moment. What a game. Must have been a big commitment for you to uh, decide to want to run for politics when you've already earned a, a good living and you're, you're financially comfortable. What on earth possessed you to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I always go into that? I always wanted to do it. Mm. I, uh, I always wanted to run for parliament and right. uh, to be a politician. And yeah, I mean, when I came back, I came back from living in London in uh, 2001. And uh, yeah, I wanted to make a difference, thought New Zealand could do better. And um, I could play a part in that. Might just interrupt you there, John. Um, what the hey? As always on the show, we like to give something back. And this week, it's this Century in Black. For the best email this week, we'll be winning this, signed by John yeah. and, the, and the team. Wow. With a little few passages I've marked for you to take special interest in. Mm. John, you can have Thank, Thanks very much. Mm, I guess. Um, that's a fantastic prize. And of course, you'll be given a year's supply of Zeralifax and a Biomag G-string to go along with yeah. that. That fantastic book there, signed by John and the team mm. here at the Guys World Cup. And, 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 and Jace, can I just butt in there? Mm. Um, John, I'd just like to say, uh, if it wasn't for people like yourself, I don't think we'd be uh, sportscasters. Right. Mm. I'll leave that with, with, with you to ponder, um, John, yeah. for the rest of the day, if you like, and get back to you yeah. this evening and, you. And, uh, and ask you about that. You. Uh, maybe early in the morning, if that's right with you. Well, you know, he's up at quarter to six. Quarter to six, okay. I'll be, um, so be, be up then. So maybe if I get about 9.30, you can be a call, perhaps. Sure. Okay. Oh, I've got a radio interview then. Mm. Well, maybe maybe 11. Okay, well, just after 11? Yeah. Mm. Well, we'll sort it out anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll make it. Happen. Jason, positives from this? The rugby? Yeah. Ah. 
I'll come back to you, John. Positives from this, this, this dark moment. Yeah, we didn't lose to Australia. It's a good positive. point. That's a positive. Good point. Yeah. For me, the positives have probably been this show. Without being too self-indulgent, what we've managed to achieve over the last four or five weeks through rugby has yeah. been remarkable, and it's not over yet. No. And I might take this opportunity to announce that next year this show is going to be adapted into the 2008 That Guy's Political Election Special. That's great um, news. So That's good news. I just had news on that. So, um, John, fantastic. Thanks very much. Look forward to seeing you on the show next year. Yeah. Great to see you. Thank you. Thanks, John. Jason. Thank you. Good news, Cheers. It's great. Cheers. 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 And here's a preview of that show. You've been waiting four years for the 2008 election special. Witness five parties doing battle for the right to be crowned joint leaders of the country, and only one man can take you there. That guy and his expert team of ex-sports broadcasters bring you the stats, the facts, the graphs. Straight shooting, they tell it how it is. Travel with them to France and be part of the amazing spectacle that is the 2008 New Zealand general election.